Hello, PC. I'm JT Pease. And I'm Chelsea Bentley. Welcome to PC TV News, Channel 88, giving you the inside scoop to fry our life. Here at PC TV News, we'll cover the most pressing issues on and off campus. In this segment, we'll cover everything from Stewart stock and the end of Civ for the class of 2012, to PC cash and the success of Family Day. This past Sunday marked the date of the inaugural Friar 5K with a shotgun start outside of Harkins Hall. Following the completion of the race, McPhail's hosted Stewart Stock, which featured several different local bands. With coverage of the event and musicians, here is Jane DeHamel. Hi, I'm Jane DeHamel, standing outside the annual event of Stewart Stock. Fortunately, this year is not taking place on Slave and Lawn, but instead, it's here in McPhail's. The bands are starting to play, and let's take a look at what's going on. Once again, Stuart Stock provided Providence College students with a large variety of entertainment and fun. Uh, Stuart Stock, great event, I love it. Good music, good people. I'm going to go to it next year. Due to rain, Stuart Stock was held in McPhail's on April 18th from 1 to 5 o'clock. Several student bands performed throughout the day. A temporary audio is a band that I formed last year um, with my friend Matt Cotter and Nate Hogue. Uh, we added Andy Shea, and we replaced a bunch of guitarists, and we've been together for two years. It's great. We're performing at 2.55, although we're already running late, so probably a little after three. We play uh, rock music, a lot of original stuff. Uh, Andy really likes Weezer, so we cover a lot of Weezer. But, uh, indie rock. You can tell by my flannel. I play guitar and bass and vocals. I play keyboards and sing. I play guitar, bass, and vocals also. There was also free t-shirts, popcorn, cotton candy, and a hot dog eating contest sponsored by Spike's Junkyard Dogs. Also, unique handmade jewelry from South Africa was sold at the event. Proceeds support orphans and other children at the Tonda After School Project. To get some input on the event, we spoke with Kenny Woodland. Hey everyone, Kenny Woodland. I just want to give a special shout out to Student Congress and Outreach Committee for doing a great job playing the Stewart Stock. It's unfortunate we couldn't have it outside on the sleeping lawn. It would have been awesome, but you know, it's doing just fine indoors. I'm going to be the next winner of the Spikes Hot Dog Eating Contest. Okay, you know what? When I'm struggling, when I'm on my fourth, fifth hot dog, okay? It's going to be hard. I'm going to be eating it all week. Mental sights. But the night is dark, it's right before the dawn. And the dawn is coming. This competition is not about the biggest stomach, it's about the biggest heart. Okay? No crowd. Well, with great bands, lots of food, and tons of people here, yet again, Stuart Sock is a great success. With the academic year coming to a close, the school has begun to look forward to welcoming the new class of 2014. This process began on Saturday, April 10th, as Family Day for Accepted Students took place. About 750 families of accepted students swarmed on campus to be welcomed. With more on how Family Day went for students and parents alike, here is Erin Flaherty. I'm Erin Flaherty with PCTV News. We're here inside Mulaney Gym, where in a matter of hours, these seats will be filled with almost 800 prospective students and their families for Family Day. Let's take a sneak peek at today's festivities. The day started off with a welcoming mass in St. Dominic's Chapel. With about 750 families attending, cars were filing in with any attempt to find a parking spot on campus. So how's the traffic here on campus today? The traffic is very busy. Trolley cars were driving around offering families tours, and the a cappella groups entertained families. Lots of prospective students were excited to be at PC for the first time. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Robert McKenna from Richmond, Virginia. And uh, are you excited to be here today? I'm really excited. It's a great day for it. Where are you from? I'm from South Korea, but I lived in China before I came here. Great. Um, what do you think of PC so far? I have a great impression. Families were given welcome speeches by Father Shanley and PC senior Shannon Hulst. The best thing about PC are the people. When it came down to it, however, I could not ignore the fact that PC was a near-perfect match for me. Following, everyone enjoyed lunch in Peterson and had the opportunity to see all that PC has to offer students. Yeah, it's really exciting being here and seeing everybody else ready to go to college. Uh, how'd you hear about PC? Uh, well, my brother looked here when he was, uh, when he was looking at colleges, and I kind of fell in love with the campus, and the student life seems really great. Well, it's been a busy day here on campus, but looks like we have some great prospective students for the class of 2014. I'm Erin Flaherty with PCTV News. Back to you guys. The beginning of finals week every semester is always marked by an age-old tradition, 
the Civ Scream. But the Civ Scream at the end of the year is even more special because sophomores are finally celebrating the completion of their two-year Civ experience. The Done with Civ extravaganza is marked not only by the Civ Scream, but also with a barbecue and a Done with Civ t-shirt. With more on what sophomores think about the much-anticipated completion of Civ, here is Hannah Wojcik. Hi, this is Hannah Wojcik reporting for PCTV News. As the year comes to an end, there's only one thing on the minds of most sophomores here at PC, the end of Civ. As many sophomores come into the last weeks of their development at Western Civ classes, there's an excited buzz that fills the classroom. With Civ ending, sophomores will have a heavy weight lifted off their backs. However interesting, beneficial, or difficult Civ may be, many students have different opinions about their own Civ experiences. Here are some sophomores telling us about their experiences and opinions of the DWC class. I think that the ideology behind Civ is good. It's like a good concept, um, and it makes sense that it should be interesting, except I think that it gets a little bit repetitive, and I think that it's um, not fair that across the boards it's not the same for everybody. Um, I would say my one complaint about Civ would be the disparity between um, the different classes themselves. No, I probably wouldn't take it again just because I feel um, the courses are just we get to take the same courses throughout our, our time here and it doubles up on the work and the same work that we do in other other classes. I think Civ is a great program. It's the cornerstone of Providence College's um, core philosophy of liberal arts. No matter how difficult or time consuming Civ is, most sophomores feel great pride in accomplishing their two years of Civ. As the weeks come to a close and that last seminar day passes, sophomores are thanking their lucky stars that they made it through Civ Alive. This has been Hannah Wojcik reporting with PCTV News. The new ability for students to use their PC cash off campus is a service that seems to have flown under the radar. The convenience of being able to swipe a PC ID for an off-campus meal as opposed to scrounging around for extra change is undeniable. While this new perk is welcomed, many still have questions about what can be charged on your PC ID. With more details on PC cash, here is Danielle Demise. Hi, I'm Danielle Demise from PCTV News. PC students and faculty have been working hard to get PC cash off campus and have succeeded at CVS, Frankly's, and Golden Crust. Let's take an inside look at how this was set up and what the future holds for PC cash. At the beginning of my sophomore year when I became class president, the class of 2011 officers were brainstorming different ideas of projects we wanted to do and we actually all collectively came up with the idea of kind of a twofold benefit of benefiting the students and then also reaching out to the community. So CVS, uh, Franklys, and um, Golden Crust were all in the top ten. Those three locations were part of a survey that was done by Student Congress. I plan on supporting uh, the PC Cash Initiative to sort of branch off off campus and I'm 100% in support of it and I'll use it more frequently just because of uh, uh, the great work that went into uh, making this uh, endeavor a possibility and I thank Student Congress for having this uh, happen. Um, I use it at like vending machines at PC Perk but I haven't really used it off campus yet but I think it's a great idea and I hope to use it soon. If you go to uh, providence.edu slash PC card um, that's the quickest way then there's a link for online card office. From that website you can manage your accounts if you have whether it's a uh, um, Friar Bucks or PC Cash, you can check your transaction history for I believe the last six months. You can add money with a credit card to either Friar Bucks or PC Cash. You can also set up an email notice to maybe your parents to remind them when your balance is getting low so that they could go in and just deposit money onto your account. We're really hoping that once it becomes popular there, other stores will soon jump on board. PC Cash is the only account that's good off campus. Friar Bucks are good at the food service locations on campus. And so Friar Bucks are tied to the meal plan and are only good on food service locations on campus. PC Perk, Jasmine's, Alumni Food Court, and the C Store. PC Cash is available at PC Perk, Jasmine's C Store as well as the vending machines, the copy machines, the bookstore on campus, and now CVS, Frankly's Pizza, and Golden Crust. And I haven't used my PC Cash yet off campus, but I plan to. I heard that uh, it works in Golden Crust. Uh, it works in CVS, and I'll stop by today, and that's not today. I'll order some Golden Crust pizza tonight. I have money on my account and have already started to use it, so 
just telling everyone is probably the best thing. You can put PC Cash on your card at www.providence.edu slash PC Card or at these boxes located in Slavin and at the library. That wraps up this week's top stories. Enjoy the last few weeks of the semester as we all gear up towards final exams. Stay tuned to PCTV News Channel 88 to keep up with the best coverage of what is happening on campus. For PCTV, I'm Chelsea Bentley. And I'm JT Peace, giving you my peace of mind.